Ahead of the 2020 general elections on Monday, December 7, the National Peace Council coordinated the signing of the third peace pact between the two main political parties, NPP and the NDC. This was witnessed by high-profile personalities, including the National Chief Imam, the Chief Justice, United Nations officials, President of the National House of Chiefs, and other members of the diplomatic community. The parties committed to ensuring peace during the elections on Monday. Just as it was in 2016, we want this victory to be sweet and incontestable. I've said that we believe in elections, and I'm happy to give my word that we shall accept the verdict of the people of Ghana. Above all, I pledge that the, pe the peace, unity, and safety of Ghana will be our primary consideration. The flag bearer of the NDC, John Mahama, in expressing doubt about the commitment of the incumbent government to oversee a peaceful electoral process, charged the security agencies to be up to the task on election day. But ladies and gentlemen, we are optimistic. In the face of similar doubts in the past, Ghanaians have risen to the occasion and delivered a peaceful, successful election. It is my prayer that despite our deepest fears, we shall be proved wrong, and Ghana will once again be proven to be the beacon of democracy. The Electoral Commission assured that the results of the 2020 polls would be a true reflection of the will of the people. I assure you that the results will be a true reflection of the will of the people as documented on the results collation sheets, namely the pink sheets. Former President of Liberia, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, urged both parties to maintain the peace and stability Ghana enjoys. Ghana stands as a model that we all look to for an example. 